Yo, what's good guys? It's John Manalo and I'm going to be restoring a pair of 1994 Black Cement 3s. Raise your hand or not. Don't even raise your hand. Give me a fucking thumbs up if these shoes are older than y'all. As you can see, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the uppers. So what we're going to do is we're going to sanitize the whole shoe by dunking them in a tub of water with dish soap. So while I dunk these shoes head first, like these girls DMing me on Instagram, I'm going to tell you guys a little backstory on the shoes. So these shoes do not have the original midsole. They've been previously swapped incorrectly. As you can see, all of that yellow glue, that's probably from the all-purpose bar cement or Gorilla Glue. First of all, I don't think they did a good job at all because it was so easy for me to pry the shoes apart. So all I'm going to do now is have my magic bucket do the work for me, do the tab swap for me, and clean the uppers. So bingo, bango, bongo, we have a brand new pair of shoes right before you guys, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm shipping this semi-magical bucket for $69.99. So if you guys are interested, PayPal me $69 and I'll ship it within a year or two. Alright y'all, now that the shoes have been sanitized, it's time to do a deeper clean on the uppers. I'm going to be using Rejuvenator and a soft bristle brush for this project. So I put Rejuvenator in a spray bottle to make it easier for me to distribute all of that solution. Now over here we have a Jehovah Witness spreading the word of God. So if you, wanna, if you want them to leave you alone, just tell them you have the heebie-jeebies. And then I'll just walk on their merry way. Alright guys, now that the uppers are squeaky clean, it's time to clean the rubber sole. So to make sure that our swap is successful, we have to remove the Gorilla Glue that this person used. And also, I believe the factory glue is still on the shoe, so I don't think they did a good job prepping at all. I'm not able to reuse these donors whatsoever, so I'm just gonna throw them away and disinfect the table. Alright guys, to fully remove all of that grit, all of that old adhesive off of the rubber sole, we're going to be using a Dremel tool. And the best method for this is just to go back and forth like an argument. Now it's not recommended, it's not required, but you could use a little bit of acetone to loosen up the glue a little bit, but it will be a lot more messier. Alright guys, now that the rubber sole looks squeaky clean, it's time to remove all of that crap on the upper leather. So we're just going to dremel the leather where the midsole will touch the upper to make sure that our bond will last longer than your favorite shampoo. Hey, I have a question. What is it? I'm working. Why do you have tape now? What? Why do you have tape now? Why were you recording without tape while using a Dremel tool? Well, in that shot, I wanted to look like I knew what I was doing. So I wanted to... Are you recording right now? Are you recording this? Hey, stop. Alright, let's just pretend we did not see that clip, alright? So moving on, guys. Alright, y'all. So the next step for this restoration is to make sure that the donor midsole is fully glued onto the rubber sole. So after we re-glued the two pieces together, that's when we will start repainting the midsole to the original color. Except for the midsole, I'm not going to make it coke white since these are from 1994. I will be adding a little bit of uh, aged paint to it just by combining cream and white and that's all you need. So for this repaint, I want to make sure that it looks as factory as possible so I will be airbrushing the paint onto the midsole. But before we do that, we have to make sure we apply tape on the areas where we do not want paint to be applied on. Now the next step in painting the midsole is to add that secondary color which is black. For this repaint, I will be freehanding majority of it. The only time where I do use tape is for the sharp corners. Look guys, I'm gonna plug something in that's not sneaker related. So for my young bucks that is crushing on a female and they don't know how to ask them out, here is an excuse to, to just to do it. Guys, I'm gonna challenge you, this is a challenge for you guys, to slide in her DMs or in her number ask them what they're doing the following weekend and if they reply to you nothing tell them you're going out with me if they say yes cool then perfect if they say nope then don't feel bad it was a dare so i challenge you guys all right guys this is the most important step in this restoration i don't care how perfect your paint job is i don't care how perfect your back tab swap is if the alignment and the dimensions of the donor is not as close to the original sole that you're swapping it's gonna look tacky guys so be sure to invest in a dremel tool 
and make sure to use that to fix the alignment. So this is a ghetto custom last that I made to make sure that the shoe doesn't move around while I tape it. This is just to ensure that the glue lines it's where it's supposed to be at. Alright guys, now the final part for this restoration. I'm going to be bonding the midsole to the uppers now. So now that the shoes have been perfectly taped up, I'm going to be applying my bar to my super stick onto the uppers and onto the midsole, as well as the back tabs. I'm going to wait about 30 minutes or so, let it cure for a little bit, heat it up, and then bottom together. If you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you guys need anything done for your shoes as well. My email is Manala Restorations, and I'm going to holla back at you. Hey!